These are the plaintiffs, Dwan Thornton and Andre Wheeler. Dwan says they hired the defendants to cater their New Orleans-themed wedding party. And simply put, it was a disaster. They never showed up on their wedding day. There was no food for their many guests, and they're suing for every single penny of the $5,000 they're owed. These are the defendants, Stephen and Lisa. Lisa says her catering manager was driving an electric car that wasn't fully charged, and she got stuck. They scrambled to get to the reception, but the plaintiffs finally told them, just forget it. They apologized profusely. They gave her a full refund, even offered them a $500 credit for a future food order. Bottom line, they still feel badly about the whole thing, but don't understand how the plaintiffs are justified in suing them for all this money today. They're accused of fouling up the food. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Andre Wheeler and Dwan Thornton. Yes. You are suing Stephen and Lisa. Are you the owners? Yes. Who own the cafe for $5,000 that you want reimbursed because they ruined your wedding. Tell me what happened. Well, in about April, I researched and found um, their company to cater my wedding okay. for July 19th. All right. Um, I had 150 guests, and I got in contact with them by- Is this the husband? Yes. Yes, and how long had you been dating? 17 years. That's why I asked, because I saw that. <laughs> 17 years! How old are you? Do you look so young, though? 42. Okay, wow, you guys- that, He's that, older. Yeah, you, you both look young. Um, <laughs> So you were dating 17 years? Why did it take so long? I'm just curious. I, I wasn't ready to be married. You weren't ready to be yeah. married? I wasn't So ready. did you have to work on her for a long time, huh? Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> wow. Do you have kids? Yes. How many? We have one. We have a 12-year-old daughter. Okay, I bet she was psyched. She yeah. the one initiated it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, good for you. All right, so you wanted a certain theme to your wedding. Yes. And the theme was what? Cajun. Cajun. So you wanted to have kind of a New Orleans flair to it. Right. Yes. Okay, so what happens? Well, initially I was having tastings. They wasn't standing up to my approval. So then my sister, who's in my wedding, she um, She said, told you about their restaurant. Yes. And then you tasted it, you liked it, and you... you... I had actually been to their restaurant before. Oh, okay. And I just forgot all about them. Right. So when she brought it up, I'm like, oh, yeah. So okay. I got in contact so with them. So is there a written contract in this case? No. 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 That's always a good idea when you're paying somebody to have in writing things, because so there's no swearing match about what the agreements were. Well, but in we any event, uh, say it again. We, we corresponded uh, via text messages. Okay. Yeah. So do you have the text messages? Yes. Let me see them. So you hire them, and you're supposed to pay them how much? Twenty-five hundred. No, it was twenty-five <laughs> fifty. I'm sorry. Okay. Two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. No. It was how 19. much was it? They, they got adjusted because initially what. I think the initial How much was she supposed to pay for the food if it had arrived? Just give me the figure. 19, well, 19.25. Okay, she, so. They, she, they prepaid. They did a deposit before. Right, all right. So what happened? Your big day. What time are they supposed to be there with the food? At 1 o'clock. Okay, and uh, do you agree that that's the time you were supposed to be there with the food? The, the, how the email stated, it was loosely stated that the room wasn't available to bring the food until after 2. So. Do you have that? I have the. Email. Yeah, let me yeah. see that. How are they supposed to be there at 1 o'clock if you send them an email that says that they, they have to be there after 2? No, I told her that uh, we couldn't go into the reception until 2, but to put it into the kitchen. Okay, and so, but it was if, my you're, text. If, you, if you're supposed to be there, what and time was the wedding? We, we no, didn't have no. a schedule. Well, how could you, what do you think you can do? You can get there at 9 just because it says after 2? Let's assume the email that you haven't shown me yet I says guess. loosely stated after 2. Don't you have to know as caterers the dinner is going to be served at X time, so we need to get our food there at Y time? I mean, if you don't know, then you should know. You're the caterers. You're the professionals. What the, do you mean? The caterer wasn't So what time did your guy leave to go bring them food? So this is what happened. So on the day, on the day of the wedding, um, she's received awards in the past. She's fantastic. But on the day of the wedding, she was not on the ball. Um, she Wait, had, who's she? Who are you talking about? Our, our catering, catering director. We have a catering director, have a catering director, director who's completely. completely in charge of everything. So On the day of the wedding, she was what? She was late. She left late. What it, time did she leave? She left at 3. 
At three? Just what time was the food supposed to be served? After two. At six. Okay, and okay. so she leaves at three. It's, and how far is she driving? She's going on to, to uh, the hour. other side it's of the country? Where's she an going? Hour, it's an hour away, and it's, and it's raining. And it's, it's, so there was a whole comedy of things that happened. She oh, was it's not, not funny to her. No, was it funny to you guys? No, I know you meant a comedy of errors, absolutely but it's not. not funny to her, but go ahead. No, I feel terrible about this whole thing. So she, she left late. Um, she was having car trouble. By the time she got What turned, was the car trouble? Uh, she got a new electric car, she didn't have enough juice, yeah. and it. we just left late, everything just got worse from there. So she turned herself back around to try and find an operating car to reload so we can get to their location in time. So by the time she got back to the restaurant, it was around 4.30, 4.35 o'clock, and we were reloaded and, and ready to go. dinner's at 6! We right. were never told. We were not told. Well, what time did you, I'm sorry, because but, I'm but, not going to accept from caterers, we don't know when dinner is, no one ever told us. You're supposed to know! I don't know how you can look me in the eye and say, oh, it was loosely stated. We didn't know when dinner was. We should. So this we, I, we don't know is really lame. So the food never came, did it? The food never came. What happened at your wedding? Well, initially, I got I there at 2 o'clock. We started the ceremony, got through the ceremony, started the pictures, did all our pictures, came back point, in. When do you learn there's no food? Not yet? Not yet. Oh, thank God. Go ahead. I was in the back of the site, and I'm sitting down. And he came over, he said, so where's your food? Who said that? Um, one of our guys that we got to serve the food. Okay. He said, where's your food? I'm oh, like, that's the words you don't want to hear right, at your wedding day. You <laughs> where's your food? I said, the food is in the kitchen. <laughs> she should have been here at one. So she does, so somebody comes up to you at what time and says, where's It was food? after six o'clock. After six o'clock. So what did you guys do? I got up and I went to the kitchen. <laughs> I'm going into the kitchen. I'm looking into the stove, the refrigerator. I'm trying to find oh out where's gosh. the You're food. You're in a wedding I'm dress crying. doing all this? Yes. Yes. She okay. started crying. I'm crying. Where's the food? The food should have been here. That was my last worry. That yeah. was not a worry for me. Right. That the food was not so, there. So at this point, I, I just want her happy. I want her to stop crying. Find your picture. Um, so I start passing out money. Go get me some food. Get me chicken. Get me potato salad. Get me whatever. Right. So we can stop her from crying. Uh, right. Uh, so her makeup is all over the place. She's hysterical. I'm crying. They coming out. They uh, asking me what's going on. Who's coming out and asking? Uh, the family. Yeah. His uh, mother and um, stepmother. She came out. She grabbed me. She said, "No, we're not going to do this. This is your day. Stop crying. Get it together." So what'd you do? You ran out and got takeout chicken. Yeah. I, Where'd you get it from on that kind of I short? Gave, it was a Sunday. I yeah. gave my cousin $500 and told him, so get chicken. So he went to Popeye's Chicken. Oh, sweetheart. Uh, so yeah. you had to serve Popeye's Chicken Popeye's at your wedding chicken. instead of the New Orleans piece yeah. that you yeah. had? And then I had somebody else go to the, to the supermarket and they bought potato salad and pasta. and. Were the guests yeah. all over you, loving on you and stuff yes. and telling you not to worry about yes. it? Mm -hmm. That's yes. a wedding. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a yes. wedding. So. Wow. Was he good? Did he behave well during that wedding? Yes, he did. Is he did. a good he man? <laughs> he did. He took care of me. He did. You he two did. are so cute. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, is that caterer's defense a good defense? I sh mean, they never told me what time to show up? Not at all. It's their job to know what time to be there. What if the bride and groom don't say what time they're supposed to be there? Well, if they... Yeah. Yeah, they just ask. I don't know. Oh, is it their job to ask? It's their yeah. job to ask. Yes, it is. What do you say? Well, I just think the caterer should have been there all the time. And, uh, all the time? Yeah. For the 17 years they date? You know, he should have, no, no, on time, I said. Oh, on time. Yeah. Okay, that, that's very different, going inside the courtroom. This is awful. It's mm. awful. Of course, I'm sure you feel terrible. We feel absolutely mortified. It was a bad situation. By the way, you might want to know this. What have you got there? What is that? Is the a picture of me walking out. As man and wife. Are you all teary-eyed? No, because at that time I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Right. I, I wish this hadn't happened. So we, they wish this hadn't happened. So I'm sure you wish this hadn't happened. And I don't know that it's enough to just return the money for your unearned work, because you ended up returning the deposit to them. Yes. Right. You know, um, now, I don't know that it's appropriate to say pay for my wedding, which is what you're saying. You want them to pay for the rental supplies? Yes, because the site did not come with none of that stuff. Well, it, okay. But it didn't come. It, we, we had to pay for the plates, the spoons, the cups, the I know, everything. But that, I know, right. but why would they have to pay for your flowers, 
your, uh, your makeup I kind of get. Because right. they ruined your makeup because you cried. But why would they have to pay for flowers, flowers and vases, uh, charger plates, all the things that you were going to have at your wedding right. anyway? Right. I think the correct figure is to award you $2,000. And I'm going to order them to pay you $2,000 for all of your ancillary expenses that resulted as a, because of this breach. Um, and then I'm going to say something that doesn't need saying. I can tell it doesn't need saying. But oftentimes, um, when something goes wrong in a wedding and I have litigation with the bride and groom, I often have to explain to them or feel the need to explain to them that you know, life is like that and re re long-term relationships are like that. Well, you've had a long-term relationship, so you don't need me explaining how it works. But you also don't need to know that this is exactly what they mean by making lemonade out of lemons. And, right. I, be, and I saw the last sentence of your complaint, which made me very happy, which was, it was a beautiful wedding other, for, other than this. Mm -hmm. um, because the, you know, life will throw you these kind of curveballs. This is kind of a really major one. Mm -hmm. And hopefully this will not happen to you again. But right. uh, it's nice to know that when it does, you two have each other and you two make the best of it. And serve up that Popeyes. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> love it. $2,000 verdict for the plaintiffs. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so the newlyweds have collected two thousand dollars on you. What, what's your what's your comment here? Well, it, it, it's it's fair. I mean, um, we really didn't uphold our end of the bargain, and uh, we feel pretty bad about what happened. We feel terrible about what happened. I just wish them well in their life together. Yeah. Want to say anything to the newlyweds uh, standing right there before you head out? I just say we're really, really yeah, sorry, really guys. Sorry. I mean, Love honestly, you. from the bottom of our heart. All right, and nice. we wish you the, all the best. Okay, that's nice. Okay. All right, sir. Head right down there with Officer McIntosh. And well, what more can you ask from them, really? Except maybe we wanted more money. Yes, I, I did, I did. But I'm happy with the judge's decision. Mm -hmm. yeah. You two have a great story to tell about your wedding. Not, not many we people. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was. You couldn't tell a story without crying, but now I can t tell it and kind of smile about it now. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look who you got to meet, Judge Milian. Yeah, and, we did. And everything. We did. And yeah. Officer McIntosh. Yeah, everything. Yeah, we did. How good is that? <laughs> right, in the hallway guy? Good. Well, good. We all wish you the best, all right? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank good. you. All right. Harvey? Here's the deal. When you have an event like a wedding or a, par a big party or whatever, when you sign contracts with caterers and people like that, be as specific as you can in the contract, down to the hors d'oeuvres you're serving and how many. The more specific, the fewer problems.